What's up guys? It's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another review. Today I have the Kong Sorry Beast Deities Number 31 Sobek the God of Power. Now this is a different Sobek than the other one. The last one was pink. This one is white. And uh, just to show you how well he's balanced, I have him standing on one foot here. Um, and there he goes. So he was balanced, no sticky tack, as you can see. Balances very well. So this uh, God of Power alligator um, comes in this box here. <clears throat> and it's just a plastic clamshell with the body in it. And then we get some additional hand sculpts. So we're going to take these white ones off, try some of his additional ones. Now I'm not sure what it is, maybe, maybe it's just pure coincidence, but it almost feels as though uh, these joints or hands are softer than original. No, nope, it's just the white ones. These are just as hard. Again, makes it scary taking them in and out because the... Uh, Pegs for these are tiny. Make sure it's warm, not cold, right after you get it from outside. <clears throat> they should have made the pegs a little bigger, as thick as the character is. Um, it would have been nice that we wouldn't have to worry about breaking the pegs. Now pop that head off and we are going to look inside this awesome pen holder here this holds pens i can show off how well it holds pens but you guys already seen that in the last video and, uh, that humor would get quite old <clears throat> so pop this out our pen holder looking Great. Snap that one to the joint. See how well he still stands with the weight of SS3 hair on him and it's pulling him back. It is heavy. Yeah. Does not hold the body up very well. Gonna have to get creative with the posing in order to get him to stand. Very creative with the posing in order to get him to stand. There he's standing. Then we take these here uh, bookmarks. Very cool looking bookmarks, guys. Check it out. And I uh, can take this. put these on to him. Now it might just be mine, I am uncertain, but none of my eyebrows are painted pink. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be. Because SS3 normally doesn't have eyebrows, but for whatever reason I think that's supposed to have paint applications. like this here um, so not a hundred percent certain on that though I could be wrong um, there is a upgrade in between both three and his final form in the show in which he uh, Goku Black Super Saiyan 3 Grows a tail and is like Super Saiyan 5-ish in Dragon Ball Heroes. So not sure if this is the 3 and the eyebrow one is turning into 5. But now, we got him together. I'm trying to get him to stand. I think it's going to knock the whole box over. Like I said, SS3 hairs are just 
horrible to have standing. So we'll look over the hands um, and the other additional face sculpts. So outside of what you see right there, which is the body and the original white paws, you saw the one for gloved hands. We have a black fist, energy hand, and these are going to be replicated on those. So he has a fist, so there is the fist, energy hands, um, karate hands, duplicate pointing hands, the one he has there and there, duplicate other pointing hands with the middle finger slightly flailed out, and then two fingers close together and outward. Then, small pupil, like he's surprised. <clears throat> Looking down faceplate. And from what I remember, and I forgot to do this, they're removable and interchangeable. So you can do that. You can actually interchange these faceplates as you can see here. Not the best idea to do because, um, to keep off, because he has some holes in his head. But you can interchange the face plates, uncertain as to why you would want to do that since they are all the same. <clears throat> but maybe the half plate. So here's the half plate. That's what I'm wondering. Does the half plate interchange with the full plate to get different? head sculpts. It does not. Half plate only interchanges with other half plates. So, somewhat uncertain about why they choose to make them interchangeable if each one had. Maybe they originally just wanted the face plates with one um, of his masks that you could interchange. It could have been the deal. So let's go over articulation with this guy. Um, head. Can only look back that far until the back of the hair hits his back, which is this middle piece here. Um, looks down incredibly far. So you can see he's looking down. All the way into his chest, it does push his face plate off like just about always with the Kong figures they have great articulation in the neck but anytime you bend the chin down the chin hits and then pulls the head out um, I'm gonna pause and try to get the camera to focus better it keeps on going out of focus when my hands go into view got a new phone and it's not cooperating so arms I didn't break it, thank God. Probably almost did. Alright, pausing the video to get the bicep in. Wasn't too incredibly hard to get back in, um, but the peg is tiny for this bicep. Not sure if you saw that when it came apart, if you'd like to get, overlook that video. So be very careful. Um, never realized the peg was that small. It's smaller than the wrist peg, I almost think. Um, but as you can see, this piece in here freely rotates. Um, that's for the articulation. So without breaking the figure, you go below 90. Um, you saw what happened if you try to go further. Freely rotates around. Um, head is on ball peg. So the neck moves left to right, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow gets blocked by the band there. Same style as the Tamashi wrist peg, freely rotates 360. Soft goods, um, outer jacket, enabling decent ab crunch, that's ab and waist. Um, completely at waist will go down like that so he gets great movement there um, it is 
even though it's soft goods, it is somewhat hindered. Uh, so standing upright, you can tilt back like that. It feels almost a little further. It is. <sighs> you get some side to side. And these bodies are awesome. So it kicks out to the side, pass 90 back it goes to the side a little bit but we get 90 degrees up way above 90 as you can see thigh swivel double joint at knee and very good ankle rocker will freely rotate 360 and you get a toe hinge let's get this head back on correctly easier said than done I guess for some reason the peg holes there we go now the peg holes are lining up So, this is your Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku Black from Dragon Ball Heroes. Again, I'm going to put Sobek God of Power in the description just to avoid any unnecessary issues with Beast Deities and the figures that they are creating. That is why they are trying to um, potentially hide the image on the pack package and calling things different. Because this is a pen holder. This isn't supposed to be a figure. His face plates aren't face plates. They're bookmarks. And I don't know who would have the crazy idea of putting these together and not just putting the alligator hand and paws on him. Because that's what they are. They're like bear paws. They're not really alligator claws in the slightest. But that's what Sobek God of Power looks like. He is an alligator god, not Super Saiyan 3, uh, Goku Black, Super Saiyan 3, Rose Goku Black. That's not, it's not who he is. So all in all, um, the body's no different than the last one. Um, the head sculpt is great. Kong's SS3 and one of the points of articulation I missed is you can do. This is the same exact hair as Goku. So I'm going to have to sit him down, but you can get him in poses like that where his hair is going straight up in the air. They show Goku black uh, or Goku powering up. In one of their promo shots they used for this. And it was a really cool idea and use for this articulation. And there it is, it actually. Stands fairly well like that. So, you know, powering up, hairs coming up in the air, going Super Saiyan 3. So I forgot that, but I'm going to rate the figure um the cost the same as the regular one this one has ss3 hair it's a lot more plastic um i am going to give accessories for that fact for, for the fact that they didn't charge us more for this huge hair sculpt where third party um action figure sellers that sell uh hair like this it's going for a lot more than uh, what a figure goes for. You know, $150, $200 just for good Super Saiyan 3 hair. Um, and this was the same price as the other one. Just the regular Goku Black from Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, so, so back, goddess, or God of Power 30, I think it was. But that being said, again, um, great accessories. Great overall paint apps, as long as this is intentional for SSJ3, I'm going to have to look to make sure, because I am not 100% certain it was purposeful, uh, because again, here is a pink eyebrow mask, and uncertain as to why it changes between the two, if these all come with this figure, because he needs a tail to get the eyebrows back but 
that's it for the video, guys. Rating, let's go with a 9 out of 10. Um, 9.5 out of 10, I'll tell you what. Kong's really knocking out of the park. The articulation's fantastic. The only thing that I really think it's missing is effect pieces. Like getting a power pink power up, maybe if they would do something like that. Um, I know it would cost a little more. I have no issue paying it. Uh, and I said Kong again. Beast Deities is knocking these things out the park. Um, so nine and a half out of ten. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please hit that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from me, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I release. I am trying to knock as many figures out as I can because. My entire attic is full of figures I need to review. My office has a wall that they're stacked up to about five foot high, three wide of figures. So I need to get these done. That's why I'm releasing them fast and multiple in a day. Um, yesterday I had a day off, so I banged out three videos. And uh, yeah, I hope to do that a lot more often until I get through these because releases just keep on happening and I keep on getting put behind. But all right, guys, see ya.